Oh, extremely disappointed. You know, um, at a toss, we eventually got to do what we wanted to do, which was to bowl first. Um, and look, it's if we continue to display this uh, type of fielding, <laughs> you know, we've spoken about it uh, for the last uh, few games. You, know, you keep giving the best, the opposition's best batters chances. Eventually, the cricket gods will catch up with you. Um, and it did with us today, you know, but with that said, 269 on that, on that surface, you know, um, again, these are the things we're trying to change. You know, we've seen it happen in, in the times past before, and the direction that I want this team to move forward today was, was really poor. You know, it's about taking responsibility, um, and we didn't do that today, and hence we didn't deserve to win at all today. Um, I wouldn't say it hampers, but it makes it more difficult. You know, you'd love to go into the Super Six with uh, four points. Uh, um, you know, we, we knew from the time we left home that game would have been very important to us. Um, and again, like I said, you know, the, the way we've, we've played, you know, um, I keep telling the guys we've, we kept on winning games by not playing our best cricket. And today, again, uh, we ask so much of ourselves, you know, when you put on a display of fielding like this and then you get yourself in good positions and take the game for granted, you know, the cricket gods will make you pay. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell them in the, in the dressing room. We did not deserve to win. We did not play to win today. And um, now we have a lot of work to do, you know, firstly to get to the, to the Super Six and then, you know, take on the other teams that we, 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 we face and we've made our road to the ICC Cricket World Cup 2023 a bit more difficult but you know you know me I don't give up on anything you know I'm, I'll keep on encouraging the boys and challenging them to you know be better because um, the train that I've started here is going to be moving and I keep telling them that who wants to t a ticket they got to come and, and buy it at the ticket office and at the moment some of us are not buying that, that ticket for that train to move on. I think we lost the game today. Um, Zimbabwe at home, the crowd, you know, they, they feed off the energy. Um, what I saw, a team who, you know, stuck to the plans. Um, and, I mean, we allow them to. The, the positions we found ourselves with both ball and bat, um, to knock them over. We didn't, you know, um, I keep telling them when you throw a first punch, you don't let the opposition come back. And today we, we kept Zimbabwe close by, you know, and um, at the end of the day, they deserve to win. You know, they kept their calm, they kept taking wickets, um, the chances we offered them, they kept taking it. And um, yeah, it, it's, it was a good victory for, for them, but it's, it's a, a big lesson for us. You know, you can't play with the game of of cricket and take it for granted. Look, um, something that's been affecting us in the past is being able to take 10 wickets in an ODI game. You know, um, I could really commend my bowlers. You know, the, the chances they kept on creating um, with the ball. Unfortunately, they've not been backed with their, with their fielders. But in terms of, of, of bowling plans, the things we speak of, um, we go out and we execute it. When you have a guy like Alzari uh, running in, creating chances and not getting them, I don't know how, how much more I could ask from, from my bowlers. And um, today we, we saw Kyle Mayers, you know, at the top getting some runs. Um, Brendan King looked good. Um, you know, Roston Chase held the inning together for a bit. But again, it's... It's how, what you are willing to do for a long period of time that will ensure the success of, of your team. And today we, we didn't do that. Uh, well, look, we have, to, we have to bin that game as quickly as possible because we got uh, another one on, on Monday. You know, um, I'm thinking about how I'm going to approach uh, the guys in the, in the dressing room. But look, uh, it's, there's no time to, to, to cry and... and, and, and um, and think about it too much. We got to get, get our positive mindset or game face on to do it again on Monday. Monday becomes very important.
uh, for us and um, and we look at the, the squad and the combinations and we come up with the best one to go out and win our game. Don't we will not take this this victory as 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 the end of the road. Um, uh, I have a, a strong feeling that uh, this West Indies team will bounce back. Sometimes you just need a, a good wake up call um, to 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 make you understand and appreciate the the, the, the opportunities we have here. Well <laughs> The two games we won, we, we lost the toss, you know, and we batted first. Um, but again, um, I think the key for us is to focus on the plans that we have. Um, I think they are good plans. Uh, when we go out and we execute them, the cricket looks great. Um, ideally, you don't want to drop four or five catches in a match when you bowl. You know, um, today could have been so much different. You know, you, took, you, you catch Reza on three or one. Um, you, you catch uh, Irving. Um, we could have restricted them for under 200, you know, but we are, when I took this job, you know, um, I wanted to change a couple of things, you know, mindset, um, that's, that's slowly getting there, but uh, mindset, preparation, uh, performance, you know, all these things have to come, you know, on a consistent basis. And uh, that's what we're trying to work on. We now have to look at personnel as well. So. Um, yeah, um, the, the journey is not over, it's just continuing and I have a strong belief that my guys come on the, on the 9th, I have a strong feeling we're going to be there.